Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to flash zips on your Galaxy S6 without tripping Nox. Now if you're a Samsung owner and an Android modder you probably have a decent idea of what the Nox counter is and how it impacts your warranty. But just in case you're not up to speed on that topic I'll give you a brief refresher. Nox is a combination of hardware and software security measures that Samsung uses to make sure no modifications have been made to certain aspects of Android. Most notably, if you modify the recovery, kernel, or bootloader on your device, a hardware fuse is tripped. And since this fuse cannot be reset, there's no way of covering up the fact that you've modified your device, which means your warranty is permanently void. So basically, if you're modifying your Samsung device, you have a choice between ditching your warranty or being very careful not to trip Nox while you're making system level changes. Well recently, a new utility called Ping Pong Root has allowed us to root the Galaxy S6 without tripping Nox. So that's one part of the whole Android modifying experience that we can cross off the list without encountering warranty issues. But that still doesn't let us install flashable zips, which is something that would normally require a custom recovery. Flashable zips are unique in the fact that they can modify parts of Android that couldn't otherwise be altered from within Android. Because while Android is running, the core files that make up your operating system are in use. So you can't modify these files without crashing the entire OS. To get around this, you could simply install a custom recovery on your device which runs separately from Android. And use that interface to flash zips that modify the core Android experience. But like I said, changing your recovery image in any way will trip the Nox counter. So a custom recovery is out of the question if you want to keep your warranty. Well thanks to a new app from developer Chainfire, we can now flash zips without installing a custom recovery. The app is called Flashfire, and it basically stops almost all Android processes from running so that there are no conflicts while it's installing a flashable zip. I'll be demonstrating with the Galaxy S6 Edge, but this should also work for other current generation Samsung devices as well as Nexus phones and tablets. The two requirements here are that you're rooted and you have Chainfire Super SU Root Management app installed. But if you need any help with that stuff, we've got you covered at the full tutorial. That's where you'll also find all the relevant links. So yeah, just head to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get started. Now the first thing you'll need to do is sign up for the Flash Fire beta program. To do that, start by heading to the app's Google Plus community, then tap the Join Community button in the middle of the screen. From here there's a second link you can find at the full tutorial that'll let you opt into the beta program. So just head to that link, then tap the become a tester button. Next, tap the link that says download it from the Play Store, then you should be taken directly to Flashfire's install page. Now you may get an error when you tap this link the first time, because it can take up to an hour before Google Play recognizes that you've signed up for the beta program. But if that happens, just keep checking back and the app should become available to you within the hour. When it does, you can install Flashfire like you would any other app. So let me take care of that real quick. Okay, so when you first launch Flashfire, the app will ask for super user access. So tap Grant on the pop-up. After that, you'll get a disclaimer message. So go ahead and hit Agree here. From here, head to the Actions section of the side navigation menu. This is really the main menu, and you've got a couple of messages that can be dismissed once you've read them. But just like with a custom recovery, the very first thing you should do with Flashfire is create a full backup. This will help if any zip you flash ever causes issues, since you can restore the backup to get everything back to normal. To get started with that, go ahead and tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen. From here, select the backup option, then choose normal as your backup type. Next, just leave everything selected the way it already is, then press the check mark at the top of the screen. From here, you'll be bumped back out to the main menu. And if you notice down here at the bottom, there's now a flash button that you can use. To start with your backup, go ahead and tap this button. Then all you'd have to do is press OK on this pop-up to get the backup going. But that can take as much as 30 minutes, so I'm not going to demonstrate that part on video. Instead, I'll move on to the main feature here, which is flashing zips from within Android. To get started with that, head to the action menu just the same, then hit the plus button again. This time though, select the Flash Zip or OTA option. Then use this next menu to find and select the zip you want to flash. Once you've done that, tap the check icon at the top of the screen, then you'll be taken to the main menu again. From here, tap the Flash button, then press OK on the pop-up. At this point, Flash Fire will stop all non-essential Android processes and your screen will go black. 
Shortly after that, you should see a script running. Then finally, you'll see your zip being flashed. When that's finished, your phone will automatically reboot and the zip will be installed. And while standard zips will not trip your Knox counter, keep in mind that any zip that makes changes to your kernel, recovery, or bootloader will still trip Knox. But in the end, Flashfire makes it possible to install almost any zip on your Samsung device without using a custom recovery or tripping the Knox counter. For the full breakdown though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.